Thank you so uh, much. We are coming to the end of the show now, and just enough time for one more video. And this short film is so good, it actually won a National Television Award. But you need to watch the film very closely, because if you're the first person to text the answer to our simple question, mm. you'll win £50 worth of Amazon <laughs> vouchers. So, right, the question is, name the character of our main character. Name the sister. Let me do it. <laughs> what, is the name? what is the name of our main character's sister? That's, that's the one, there yeah. What's the name of our main character's sister? And the number you need to dial is 07426797472. And if you miss that number, you can enter the competition by contact, contacting us on Facebook or Twitter. ever tells you that having a family is easy, they're wrong. Especially when as far as you're concerned, they're no more than a stranger. Let me take you back to the start. It all began a week ago when Dad rang. What? A week? Look, I can't get away. Candy's still coming. But why if you're not going to be here? Sophie, she's still your sister. Stepsister, Dad. And anyway, I've got work all week. Well, then you've got nothing to worry about, have you? I'll see you in a couple of weeks. What choice did I have? Well, it's been three days now, and let me tell you, they've been interesting. Take this morning, for example. I was going to have a bath first thing, like I always do. Nothing unusual except for the pile of Candy's clothes on the floor. I mean, how am I expected to relax with those there? Well, what was I supposed to do? Oh. she think I am? Her mommy? I tell you, this is going to be one long week. Shit, I'm late. <coughs> Always one for an entrance, Sophie, even if it's a late one. Sorry, Mr Palmer, I don't know where the time went. I want this finished by lunchtime. I tried to avoid a repeat of yesterday, eh? Everything was fine until the start of this week. Hang on a sec. Leamington photo setting, Sophie speaking. Hi, Sophie, it's Candy. What do you want, Candy? The internet in my room doesn't work anymore and What? The... Look. I've told you before, you can't call me unless it's an emergency. I need the CD, the service provider wanting you know where it is. I spoke to the company, It'll but... It'll be in my room. Just go in there. I don't mind. They weren't very helpful, though. They asked if I was in front of the computer, and I said no, because I was in the lounge. So I Isn't she listening to a word I'm saying? I mean, this is why I'm behind. You really should get a cell phone. I'm praying she doesn't fix it, though. What with her obsessive use of messenger. <laughs> Oh, I can't concentrate! See what I mean? Maybe I'm overreacting. It's just I can't cope with her. The thing is, she has a knack of catching me at the worst times. Like when I need... the loo. This might sound stupid, but when I want to go, I go. But recently, I have to do this.
Surely, she must realise if someone's outside the toilet, they want to go in. I mean, I'm not standing there for fun, am I? Christ, she doesn't have a clue. <sighs> I can't believe this. She's everywhere. She's ruined my breakfast, stolen my lunch, so I've had to buy this. And now she's ruined this too. And you should have heard her last night. Seriously, you're not gonna believe this. I mean, I don't even believe this. Hang on a sec, where was I? Oh right, so I was sitting down to dinner in the lounge and Candy was downstairs on the stepper. Can you turn that down, please? What can this be? You know, and this is the hero to millions, but he was like a little girl about the whole thing. Big on the swing as one. How you like that? Sophie! What? What's wrong, Candy? Oh, it's horrible. Oh my god, Sophie! What's happened? Are you I hurt? Lost it down there. Where, Candy? What is it? Oh no, it's horrible. It looks like hairy slugs or something. Hairy slugs. I promise you, that is an exact quote. But have you spotted what it is yet? There, look, there! It's moss, for Christ's sake. I tell you, I was this close. Oh my god, can you move it, please? Oh my god, it's oh my god, it's so big. Yeah, we had these hairy slugs in this country. They just pop into our gardens and then stay still for a few months. Jesus, how stupid can you get? It's not me, is it? She is stupid as well as inconsiderate, lazy and selfish. I know she's American, but surely that isn't an excuse. What? Oh. Oh no, you can just. I'm not taking any more of your shit today. Get your phone, Sophie. Sophie, phone. What? Whoa. Hi, Sophie. Oh, hi, Dad. It's you. I thought you were Candy. No, oh, it's me. What's wrong? I can't deal with her. She's driving me mad. She won't leave me alone or tidy up after herself. Come on, Sophie can't be that bad, surely. It's only been three days. It only took one. You're going to have to say something to her dad. No, Sophie, you are. If you have a problem with her, just talk to her. Come on, you're an adult now. It's not up to me to solve your problems, is it? Okay. I'm sorry. I'll let you know how it goes. Bye. Okay, that's it. Enough is enough. I have a plan. I'll start in the kitchen, get a cup of tea, and go to the lounge. I'll sit her down. No, just her. I'll stand. Then I'll just say, Candy, whilst you are under my roof, you will follow my rules. I expect you to look after yourself and my house. And that means not calling me at work. My job is important to me and I'm already behind because of you. I'm really sorry, Sophie. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. I've been inconsiderate and selfish. I will promise to do better. Oh, good. You've come to fix the internet for me. Here are the instructions that the guy said on the phone and written them down so you can do it for me. I've had to wait all day, Sophie. I haven't been able to do anything. you can really see why that won awards. Mm. Before that short film, we asked you this question. What was the name of our main character's sister? The answer was, of course, Candy. 
and you can find the names of the winners on our website. So, finito, huh? Three hours mm. gone like that. Did you have fun? Yeah, I really did. And I want to thank everybody who works on the show. Been really, really great. And also, everyone watching out there, hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Mm. We've seen some amazing productions and spoken to some really lovely people. You've been watching the first ever live TV lab show from the University of Bedfordshire, and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>